Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a new video. Uh, we're on uh, Zurich Auto Show in Switzerland. Uh, behind me is the new Volkswagen Polo R-Line. So we, in this video, we're gonna take an in-depth tour. If you wanna see more, there's gonna be plenty of new cars. So subscribe to the channel if you wanna see more. Uh, and without further ado, let's just jump into the review. Hello everyone, here's the first look of the new Volkswagen Polo uh, on my channel. So let's dive into the new Polo and see what's new. A very interesting uh, metallic blue color. We have a new LED signature daytime running lights. This is the uh, R-Line package. We're in Zurich, Switzerland on car, new car show. And uh, we are on uh, early press, so there might be some music tests in the background. Apologies for that in advance. Now let's come a little bit closer, check the details of the new Polo. So we have here IQ uh, LED headlights with this interesting signature and connected uh, on the front hood. Uh, IQ details inside, we have the big lens and then a uh, kind of projectors uh, in the middle. Uh, we have some LED fog lights on the bottom. We have on the R-Line this uh, black details with a little uh, side uh, fin there, a little bit more aerodynamic details. Uh, it does look like a polo, but kind of refreshed. And if we look at the front, there's a pillar next to me, so that's why I'm not uh, exactly in the middle. Uh, if I come from this side, you can see the R badge, and you can see the air intake on the top here. If we see this bright LED lights, uh, interesting, we still have the badge on the top. Um, I like the fact that there's some. Uh, actually plastic here instead of all piano finish and then a big air intake on the bottom you can see down there now uh, let's come from this side because you can have a better look of the side profile without the spec we're going to check the spec at the end of the video we have gorgeous alloys so these are uh, 215 45r17 beautiful 17 inch alloys with diamond cut uh, we have some skirt on the bottom, our details, also Volkswagen Touch, and gorgeous looking. Now also very interesting and a unique uh, LED taillights signature on the rear. I gotta say I like this design, it kind of reminds me of the T-Rock but then a little bit different. Uh, inside we have this uh, pattern, this probably is a stoplight. Very interesting, and then on the bottom, they decided to still use the fake exhaust tips, although the exhaust is probably on the left, there's two pipes, but we have a nice diffuser on the bottom. And then we have this elegant spoiler. It's going a little bit upwards with this little details in the middle. Press to open in the badge. So you can see if I back up here as well, car in the full frame. So opens fairly tall. For a small city hatchback, very decent space inside. We have here maybe uh, five, up to five fingers of height. Uh, now, this is the right side. We have one uh, warm light. We have grocery hooks over here. We have tether points there and over there. Can knock down the seats 60 40 and there's a little extra compartment over here on the side it kind of goes uh, fairly deep enough and also grocery hooks we have these stoppers on the top so if you open up this just stops over there and then you can see the full cargo space so you can have a spare wheel if you want to or just a patching kit uh, you can actually lower this shelf down and then as you can see you get uh, extra space so now in this case you get at least extra five fingers so maybe ten fingers of height just for a little uh, reference and then you just put it back the way it was on the top you can put an emergency triangle there and close it up manually Not sure if I close it properly. There we go, the, now the lights are connected. And I gotta say on the light, this color is very beautiful. By the way, I'm filming with the new iPhone 13 Pro, so leave your comments below how do you like the new picture. Tinted windows on the rear. Now, I'm gonna go sit on the front because 
I didn't adjust the seat, so we're gonna check the rear seat position uh, at the end. Kind of a new mirror design, turn signal on the side. We still have turn signal here, physical blind spot plus the actual uh, warning light. And let's open it up. So you have it here with a keyless touch for the closing and opening. Good opening and closing sound. Let's see the seals. Standard Volkswagen seals. Volkswagen is very good at this area. I'm sorry, my phone is new, so there you go. Kind of new with the focus, it works a little bit different. Hard plastic materials, a little bit of reduction. Uh, lock unlock, you have here red light when the car is locked. Textile inside, all power windows, automatic. You can lock the rear for the kids. Folding mirrors and heated. Little pocket on the bottom here. Little speaker design here. R line aluminium doorstep. And we have a tire pressure information here. We have manual seats. So for up and down, uh, you have there for the tilt and for the lumbar. And pull, the one, pull that one up to slide back and forward. Sport paddles. Now looking at this seats, we have some uh, interesting cloth combo. Some contrast stitching and some Alcantara on the top of the R badge. Look at the top. Still nice manual switch for the lights. Steering column is also manual. You can adjust the steering column. Let's hop inside. Good closing sound. Let's switch to wide lens. And this would be point of view. Nice, uh, familiar interior, but we got a new AC controls on the bottom and a little bit different design here. Also, everyone, a little detail I'm cutting in. You can see the new ambient lights, although I think they're one color. Uh, they're gorgeous on the front, just extending. And if you see that going underneath the screen, extending to the uh, locks. But it mostly looks the same, so let's zoom in. Uh, standard Volkswagen steering wheel uh, in the fleet or Gamma we saw uh, lately. Uh, nice leather, uh, very smooth to the touch. A flat bottom, our badge, physical buttons. You can probably get touch ones, but I personally prefer this one. Tell me in the comments which one you'd prefer. And then we have physical, excuse me, uh, sport paddles on the side. Uh, still classical Volkswagen stocks on the side, uh, AC, and then over here, uh, AC below the screen, and one over there. Uh, a little bit dark theme, so this is piano, uh, black with some gray finish. This is soft on the top over here as well, and then on the bottom, it's hard plastic. Uh, we have a virtual cockpit that's off, unfortunately off, but we have the main screen on. Uh, you can see when you approach, it uh, kind of registers. Uh, your hand, uh, classical Volkswagen uh, navigation, uh, home menu, and then you have the menu over here. We have your uh, apps, uh, classical. I'm not going to go through these. I've shown this multiple times in my other Volkswagen videos. Uh, and over here, are some also shortcuts. Um, you have the hazards button here. You can see them nicely in the mirrors. Uh, on the bottom, we have a new AC controls that are touch operated, just like we saw in the new Volkswagen Tiguan. I would like physical controls, but if I would have to choose a touch layout, this really looks very nice, especially when it's on, uh, which unfortunately isn't. We have a rubber mat there for the charging of your phone, two USB uh, C chargers there. Also gorgeous white illumination. Uh, auto stop, stop off, start stop engine button, driving modes, uh, self parking and parking sensors. Also uh, the new uh, DSG lever. We have a 12 volt here. We have a uh, two cup holders. We have some rubber on the bottom, another space there. Still manual handbrake. Have this small but extendable. This cloth armist and kind of small space in there you can see that uh, over here textile seats alcantara here and here mm, i prefer something different slowly opening uh plastic but uh 
has a nice imitation of a leather, coins, business cards, fairly spacious. Uh, you have an SD card over here. So sorry, there's a little gl reflection. That's it. And on the top, uh, we have a black roof. We have emergency calls, service, and information. Uh, there's a nice rubber here. Although it's dark, you can't see it. Uh, light switches, LED. And the mirror has a little basil, but it's okay. Over here on the top, same. You have a document holder of privacy, a mirror, and a light. Unfortunately, I think it doesn't extend. So, yeah, it's fixed. So, this area is kind of exposed. Uh, good overview. Sitting low, but nice overview in the mirrors and this is the back look uh, it is a little bit dark a look uh, in this theme now uh, to show you headspace i think i can lower down okay this is the lowest position and i have actually enough knee room so this would be okay and plenty of headspace for two meter tall person or 6.6 .6. and just to show you so when i adjust i have uh, enough knee room and i'm in the lowest position now uh, let's check the back now i'm gonna pop the hood and come to it at the end and show you the spec so let's see the moment of truth good closing sound just to see if or how much space is inside i think the doors could open a little bit wider if you have kids again same materials on the back there's no cloth it's just a lot of savings on the volkswagen end there have a fairly uh, decent area there for this bottles you can lock here for the kids uh, look at the seals so it's going all the way down good seals there and now let's hop inside okay so very comfortable position we have plenty of feet room uh, knee room considering I was sitting on the front if someone more average was sitting on the front we would have more space on the rear and here are two USB C's for fast charging uh, tall transmission tools so I wouldn't fit a third person but uh, it's very comfortable here closing sound another look from this angle we have a cook here uh, oh look at this uh, there is no handles on the top for some reason anymore and then we have the LED lights so what do you think about this hmm. and a uh, good overview I would say on the rear we have this window in the C pillar uh, very comfortable seats, nicely profiled. Uh, you don't have a middle armrest in this one. Here it's soft, soft. You could squeeze a third person, but likewise, I wouldn't do that. And uh, I saw point for the front seat. So, moment of the truth. Um, well, I'm touching up with my head a little bit, but I think it's actually okay. Now, if I was an average person, I'd be touching still with my hair, like it was I was in 190 or 180, but if you're sure, you have plenty of space in the polo. So let's get on the front. You still can adjust the height of, this, of the seat belt. There's a little uh, hook on the B pillar, but again, nothing here. I don't know why they did that, but uh, some cost saving there. Okay, so. Uh, let's check what's under the hood or how it looks. Did they do any changes? And just another gorgeous look at this blue color. So let me just find it. Oh, it's in the middle. So that's the mechanism. Push it to the left. And uh, I believe this is probably a small petrol engine. And uh, that's your washer fluid. The rest leave it to the mechanics. Uh, there's not even any more big engine covers. Uh, you still have to use the little leg, unfortunately, but you have the sound insulation on the top. Let's let it drop. It closes perfectly. And tell me what you think about the design. I really like it. Uh, it's kind of fresh, new. Uh, again, you have the uh, lane assist camera, uh, light and rain sensor. And it appears that, uh, actually, nope, my mistake, it's nothing. And to check the spec, so again, reminder, we are Swiss. Uh, I might do translation to euros. So we have here 1.0 TSI, 110 horsepower, um, seven speed automatic, reef blue metallic color, and Titan Schwartz interior. Titan Schwartz, it's, I think black, so Titan black or gray. 
interior and here's some uh, packages this is uh in german so also good for german audience and here's some options so uh interesting spec and definitely gorgeous looking tell me in the comments uh how do you like the new polo hey everyone a little bonus on the polo you can see it at night as well you can see the signature on the front let's check the rear just a quick look looking gorgeous now let's show you the cargo space while we add it warm light on the rear this is the rear bench and let's check the front so you can see those ambient lights the interior as well and there we go inside so smash the thumbs up for this exclusive look and of course i didn't close the trunk properly but you can see all the nice uh illumination in white and the ambient lights uh gorgeous looking Volkswagen always knew how to make appealing cars And for the turn signals, didn't think I would forget that. Let's close this one properly and have those lights connected. There we go. Dynamic lights on the rear. Unfortunately, not on the front, but also good looking. And uh, if you want to see more, there's going to be the new Taigo, uh, and Fabia, and uh, plenty of other cars. So subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. So everyone, thank you for watching. Uh, smash the like button, be a cool person. Leave a comment what do you think about the new polo. And I'm going to see you in the next one.